it is full-blown spring summer on the homestead Eve is putting in her garden which is a very important part of the success of our homestead and Eve's general mental health as well which is always a good thing to keep in good standing I'm helping her do some of the hard work so that her back doesn't get hurt I'm gonna be her hoe Okay guys, I'm Eve, and today we are gonna go try to finish getting the outside garden planted. I have already planted, pretty much planted my whole high tunnel, which is like a slash between a greenhouse and just like a regular garden, because it's in the ground. But it is also covered by a big structure with greenhouse material on it. So today what we're doing is we are going to finish planting the outdoor garden. Sparrow and I go give you a tour of the high tunnel. I think there's some casualties up in the high tunnel. So we will also take you on the adventure of doing a few more cucumber starts and assessing if there's any more casualties and we need to fill in any blanks. It's been a really cold spring. It's always tricky. There's always things that die and that is that. And then we just roll with it and we replant and hope for the best. So we have a start tray here and then I'll put dirt in these and we're going to replant some cucumber starts. I started my cucumbers really early. They got so big basically had to put them in the ground but it was a little risky because it's been a very cold wet spring and well some survived some didn't <laughs> okay. <Love is> that good? <laughs> no that won't work sorry do you want gardening gloves for today or no. you, just, you like bear with your hand ah! <laughs> Want me to help? All right, here we are. We're done. Oh, it's cold. I know, the sun isn't hit here yet. We could go do stuff in the high tunnel first and wait for the sun to get here. Yeah, that's okay. Do you want a coat? Yep. Want me to get you a coat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready for me to do some hoeing for you, honey? Yeah. I need a hoe. You're gonna So here we are. I got my girl. Yeah. So brassicas, you want to plant them really deep, the starts, like up to the here. So you don't you take these first couple leaves off and then we'll plant them up the to there. And then that will give them really good integrity. So they're not like a little bit. Because all this can be underground and help create stability. Other thing we're doing is this mycorrhizae, which basically just helps the roots uptake nutrients better. Basically, this is beneficial soil organisms that help plants. So they just build these systems on the plant roots, which en basically enhance water and nutrient uptake. Brando's got what plants crave. It's really awesome with starts because that's when they need the most help getting established. And this gives them just that extra 
boost and then you lose less starts. We try to freeze enough broccoli and cauliflower for the winter and then I make enough sauerkraut for the whole winter so we plant a lot. It's just my kids favorite vegetable basically all those vegetables so we plant a lot of these as you can see. This entire row will be just broccoli and then we'll do an entire row of cabbage and then a row of carrots and beets. <laughs> so we already got started and we're planting our row of cabbage now we do an entire big row of cabbage mostly purple because we prefer sauerkraut with purple cabbage carrots and beets There'll be a few green cabbages here for fresh eating because they're delicious. But yeah, Sparrow's just rocking it. She's fast. She does this assembly line super efficient method. Mom, you're so slow at it. Well, I'm just doing other things. Now we are planting seeds. We've got all the starts in the ground. Sparrow has almost single-handedly done that. And now we're planting the beets and the carrots. We also just planted some greens for a later batch of greens. We'll have an earlier batch that I planted a while ago in the high tunnel, along with some starts. This kind of staggers. So as those greens get bitter and used up, We'll have a new set of greens later in the summer. Right here we have a little patch of spinach and lettuce. So we did the like dispersal method. So this will be like really thick and we'll just use scissors and cut it. So it'll be like a baby green scenario. Kind of my favorite way not to mention. Sparrow, do you love planting seeds that way? Mm -hmm. It's so much more fun everywhere and then you throw dirt on top and it's just like a lot of throwing yeah and it's the most fun we wish we could do that with beets and carrots however they require perfect spacing and all this perfection and it's gonna take us a while it's the hard part it's the not as much fun part but look at this this is a whole row of cabbage mostly purple some green that's like more than half a row of cauliflowers, varying kinds, and then this whole row of broccoli. This will be a whole row of beets and carrots. We have beets and carrots in the high tunnel too for early ones and also just have lots for the root cellar. Alrighty. going like everywhere with it so see right here and you really soak that it takes a while there you go yeah the wind's blowing it back i know <laughs> Good job. Close up of the water. I'll turn it off. 
Sparrow, what happened? We finished. We finished. Did you know I would never have finished today if it weren't for you? Sparrow almost single-handedly planted the entire lower garden while I futzed around and filmed. So carrots and beets are all tucked under there. You can just water over the reme. Pretty awesome. It also keeps really naughty kitties from causing problems, like digging up your garden. <laughs> Anyway, so excited to have that done. Woo, it's a big job, and am I lucky to have such an amazing yeah, helper. I didn't even do that much of the big job. I just have the most helpful girl in all the world. My little luckiest mom, you know it. Now we're off to the high tunnel. We'll give you a high tunnel tour and see how many cucumbers we need to replace. Ooh. All right, we are off to the high tunnel to give you a high tunnel tour. And we gotta check on the cucumbers and get a head count of deaths. Cucumbers, we just started some more, more than we probably will need, but I can always give away what we don't need. And I know some died. We're in our electric side by side solar powered because we have solar panels. It's the ultimate perfectly solar powered farm rig and we use it to get up to the high tunnel that's a little ways away from our house. All right, we're here at the high tunnel. What are you doing, Tazzy? Do you belong in the high tunnel? No. Out of the kitchen. Ah, no. Out of the kitchen. You went out of the high tunnel. Good boy. No dogs in the high tunnel. They wreak havoc. Tazzy's actually not so bad, but he could just go plop down on a whole bed of carrots and ruin it. Not mean to. It's still cucumber. cold in here. And these are cucumbers. And so, as you can see, that is not going to live. That will not. <laughs> that, that might will not. not. That will not. That <laughs> yeah. will not. That will not. Anyway, will not. most of them are dead. <laughs> The moral of the story is it's a good thing Sparrow planted a whole nother flat of them today. Here's my little herb garden. A bunch of stuff came back, which is super rare in Alaska for things to come back because <laughs> it freezes so hard. But I actually had a thyme come back, sage and oregano. So here's some lettuce that we'll be eating soon. We're already eating this lovely bok choy. Asian greens grow so fast and vigorous. I don't mind the cold. This is celery. Here's baby beets, more marigolds. So we put marigolds throughout the high tunnel because they are a pest um, deterrent. So beets here, carrots, they're just widow, widow, widow right now. Got peas here and beans that aren't up yet. Green beans that'll climb up this old fishing net. Oh, but there's the fun part over here. This is a peach tree. So peaches in Alaska, guys amazing we grow peaches in alaska which is like a miracle as far as i'm concerned and there are little baby peaches on here somewhere widow widow ones oh my goodness look at those baby babies so this is this? garlic garlic you actually plant in the fall that's why it's so far along it's the first thing to come up in the spring it is like the easiest most gratifying thing to grow I think garlic in warmer climates is tricky because, and almost impossible, it must freeze or get very cold for at least some period of time. This is sorrel, another perennial. It kind of tastes like a vitamin C. It has tons of vitamin C in it. It's one of Sparrow's favorites. Ooh, it's like puckering. Oh, sour. Oh, Sparrow can eat that. I'm like sitting here going. So, yeah, it tastes like a lemon. It's called lemon sorrel. Kids love, well, at least my kids love sour stuff. So there's two plum trees, two Montmorency pie cherry trees right here, and then another apple tree right here. I am so excited in the future, later in the summer, to show you this place when it's booming and show you some of the things we harvest and preserve. Yeah, like, because this is a whole lot, I can't even find you in the summer. Yeah, you can You can just holler for you. disappear in the high tunnel. It's a literal jungle in here. It's like hard to imagine. Everything's all baby, baby right now. So, if you liked what you saw today, hanging out with Eve and Sparrow in the garden, subscribe 
to our channel, like this video, and then we'll know to make more, right? Awesome. Gardening with my girl. Not a lot that's better than that, right? On a sunny day.